<laughs> oh, babe, I hear your 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 alarms mm. go off mm. like 4 p.m. Time to what? What does it say? <laughs> hmm? What does the it say? 4 p.m. is time for the kids' school pickup. Yes, mm. time for the kids. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> then there's one that goes like if I hear it when I'm still at home, then I know I'm late. Oh, you know it? Yeah, I think so. Which the one? The one of time to leave the time to leave home. Yes. <laughs> oh my! I'm like yo, I'm late. I'm so late. Yeah. Yeah. Like things are even the one to drink water. You have a timer for drinking water. Yeah, because how else do you like getting the eight glasses of water? So you, you, you fix every hour? No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also it's not an alarm. It's just a sound, a water sound. Bloop. Uh, like, <laughs> and I'm like, what's that? Yeah, then I get my... And I... Mama, you've seen the videos of girls with... Women with Stanley Cups. Yeah. You can think you own the world. But don't we? Yeah. We own the world. Yeah. Naipo, we need to we need to be confident. Yeah. Yeah. Because we've been so confident in not owning the world. <laughs> I have to say about the pressure. Guys, I'm going to make some Stanley Cups for Pal Magic and Pal Magic Prime. So I'll hook Ooh. you up. I'll hook you up. Yeah, no, but we'll they're amazing, hand. They are very good. Honey, tell them what happened with this Stanley Cup. Tell them the truth. When we went to Ginger. So, what did you put in? Orange juice. You put in orange juice with ice, ice. cubes. Yeah. Then. And that was at what During time? the day. Yeah, that I was think the, at, uh, around midday. What, midday. Midday one, yeah. Then we got, we used the cup again the next day. At 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Was it? No. 4 In the p.m. Evening. evening when we're leaving. When we're leaving. And you guys, <laughs> the ice cubes were still there. <laughs> the and orange the juice, juice was still fresh. As, as, <laughs> Kogamba, it's like the ice cube says, why? Don't mess with this orange juice. <laughs> like, Uliomu, Akolo, Mulimugwe. Let's not mix Jesus. Jesus. Yes, so yeah. uh, that that was, I think that's when I allowed. Yeah, you that's did. That's the time I allowed. Uh, yeah. You did. And you're like, and this is a dupe? Cut all the real one. I think it's <laughs> the dupe. So which one is this? This is the dupe. I have both. Yeah. Yeah. Mona fancy bottles. She has both, so. So you can pick your sobola, eh? Yeah, according to your wallet. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see you. I see you. <laughs> and you know, man, this timing, babe, this timing makes me think about the kids you know we have now potentially a 12 year old yeah. and a nine year old 10 year old yeah so i was talking to blake about going away okay. i told him bro 18 i don't need you in my house 18 18 and you go you away mommy's house I no, left. I think. Oh, oh, you mean for like school? Then after school, don't come. Don't back. come back. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, because you know things have changed now. Yeah. Um, back in the day, Makerere was the only option for some of us, right? Yeah. Uh, but now our children have more options, right? That's true. Um, so when I told him, bro, at eighteen when you go to uni, don't come back. Oh you know that song. Don't come back. Da, 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 da. So, even Blake was shocked. Blake is like, what? So you mean I only have six years? I'm like, yeah. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to He was me. not okay. And I thought about you. And I wanted to ask you. Hmm. Do you have a plan ah. for when the children leave? And you know, when, when the children leave the nest, do you have yeah, a plan? Have you thought about that? So yes, I have. And I must say that every time I think about it, like I just cry. Because I'm just like, but hmm, how will I be without them? Because you know, we forget that this, this is a season. Having them 18 years is a season. And of course, many people think 18 years is such a long time. Mm. But now, but when you think PSP, about it, but now forgive uh, the car. The car might be making noise. We are going through some interesting roads. 
<laughs> they are being worked on, yeah? yeah. They are being worked on. Uh-huh. Yeah. So the the 18 years is not a very long time. It's actually quite short. It's, it's tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. That's why I've never wanted the kids to go to boarding because I'm just like 18 years is such a short time. On another day, we'll host the Navisos talk about boarding school. Next. Next. Oh my God, that conversation. I'll be quiet. Yeah. I'll be quiet because... You are an L. You are an L. L now accepted. So I'm the only one. Yes. Yeah. On another day. No, that won't be a nice conversation. Yeah. I won't like it. Anyway, that said, I have thought about what I should do. Mm -hmm. And I remember there was once that I told you, I was like, you know, babe, you know, when the kids go, my time will now be up for me to go back to school. And they're like, why are you waiting until the kids have gone? Start now. Go tomorrow. Start tomorrow. Why are you waiting until when the, the kids uh, have... When it's still fresh. When it's still fresh. When your brain is still fresh. Yes. It's just like, dude, I'm, I'm already coming to 40. There's no... It's me you'll punish because you'll be away studying. So now I should punish you and the kids? You, you're, you, you're easy to punish. At least let's all I suffer can... together. <laughs> <laughs> let's all <laughs> suffer at the same time. Because for you to, to unpunish you is very easy. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. I can work on it. Ah. But for kids, kids keep you mm. for life. Man. You know? So you're planning to go away? I'm, I'm going to go back to school. I don't know whether I'll go away, mm. but I know that I will be I will be in school. So in six years, that's when you're going to do the Dr. Mulondo, Dr. Yes. Manuela Mulondo. So I'll be doing a goal. master's and PhD at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's your plan. Yeah. I don't see me in that plan. No, because you're a constant. Ah, you've <laughs> saved yourself. <laughs> you've saved yourself, bruh. So what will we be doing? Because I don't, I don't hear myself no. anywhere. Yeah, no, I think that that will finally be the time you and I can finally spend time with just the two of us without thinking about what Other do we need to do beings? for the children like because every time we want to do anything we're just like ah school fees <sighs> we shall revert we have to, to include the kids yeah mm. then as because when they were younger we couldn't do anything with them because they were too young yeah. then when they are older we're like eh, but now that place it's we can't expensive. go because now it's too expensive yeah so now i think finally we shall be able to do that and i think that will be because of the way i've seen 50 year olds look these days i really think we'll, we'll enjoy that time the 50 year olds of these days are not they are not they are not they are not 50 years yeah at all by the way even the 60 year olds yeah they are not the other day i was watching an episode of oprah winfrey she's 60 years she didn't look mm -mm. she lucky looks no look in terms of mm. it does it hasn't stopped her from oh okay. doing yeah so i think we'll enjoy those years i think we'll enjoy each other just ensure that that thing that they usually say about men and women then happen to us. What? Where women's libido goes up and men's goes down. So, mm. you are now 40. Mm. And they say that libido mm -hmm. always shoots up. Mm -hmm. How are you? For you, how do you see? The way I see, uh, <laughs> according to uh, the weather conditions, <laughs> you are 40. <laughs> you are 40. I can confirm mm -hmm. that at 40, at 55 is that true i don't know i hope not mm. i hope not i think that that's when but you know some of those things i think it's the environment what life has when you enter the fifth the ages of 50 and mm. above mm. and you had a different expectation of your life i think there are certain things that that stop yeah that just stop because yeah. you now you're like okay so now i'm 50 so now what am i going to do am i going to work hard oh yeah, yeah. am i going to naturally like, it switches off. yes naturally yeah. it switches off because you're just like so this is it yeah this is it i'm done so really m most times the libido is really it's is immense. for lack it's of it it's yeah. informed by the circumstances you're I going through so. if you're happy if you're doing well yeah. your libido will also do well yeah i think so yeah
Yeah. Oh, sorry, our white, our white fans. Uh, it's called libido. <laughs> yeah, libido. Yeah. Really? I'm not even joking. I'm going to libido. Our libido. It's libido. <laughs> libido. Yeah. So, okay. And you? What? What? Me, what? You've always wanted the kids to go. Even wanted them to go at. Yeah. Yeah. I had always wanted, but you know, I think now knowing what I know. Yeah. I have like six years with Mr. Morongo. Yeah. So I'm going to maximize yeah. And, yeah. And, and be with him yeah. so that when he's away, you know, hopefully if God, you know, does his thing, uni won't be here, you know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Rah, and it's not in bad faith. I went to Makere. Eh, Makere. Oi. Ra. Ah. Yeah. I think the ivory tower badges is out. Oh, it's opening on October 2nd. Okay. Yeah. And I don't but know if Lumumba boys are aware that Lumumba, Africa girls are sleeping in their hole. But you see, Lumumba is also getting a facelift. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. it's... Oh, it's... Oh, Ekuunya <laughs> zi! Zi! <laughs> Lumumba and Box are getting a facelift. Yeah, Box, yes. Yeah. Um, I want to maximize right yeah. now. Max, max, max. So that when they are away, and like they are calling us, Papa, yeah. Mommy, where are you guys? And I tell them, guys, I'm in Bali on a yacht sipping pina colada. I don't feel guilty. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I feel like that's what that's kind of the feeling I've had. And that's what they call mom guilt mm. for many moms that you feel that if you go away to to live your life, you leave the kids behind, mm. so you start to feel guilty mm. because you're the one who brought them into the world. Mm. Yeah, and I know people frown upon mom guilt, but me, I understand where it comes from. And if you understand that it's a season, you don't have a lot of time. After that, you're going to have the rest of your life to yourself. Yeah, you don't want to be there having the rest of your life to yourself, and your child is a nuisance. Your child didn't spend time with you. Your child is on social media saying, you know. My parents were never there. Yeah. I said then we were, we were like, oops. I like, oops. Isn't that thing, is it daughter? Mm. And we were like, oh, oh, you know, because yeah. then social media will be open, the world will be open to them, so they'll just be there. And I'm healing from my dad, yeah. from my childhood Hashtag trauma. Toxic. Toxic, toxic parenting. <laughs> that you are the parent. Oh my goodness. Hey, it won't be funny. Yeah, yeah. But Welcome to The Cradle, Uganda's premier 24 hour childcare and lactation service for the workplace. We provide both on site and off site solutions tailored to fit the diverse needs of parents and their employers. Our services include an innovative infant curriculum and a cutting-edge early childhood stimulation program delivered in a safe and nurturing environment by professional and experienced staff. With conveniently located and easily accessible campuses in Buwate and Ntinda, our flexible scheduling options empower mothers to seamlessly blend their professional and personal commitments. Visit our website on www.thecradle.ug or call 0788-737877 to learn more. The Cradle, we're there when you can't be. But I also think, like, I've thought about our home. And these days I've been seeing so many, like, IG ideas of tiny homes. Oh, yeah. Like, I want to have... A fancy I do want to have a tiny, tiny home. home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but with wings. Left and right. <laughs> <laughs> the home is tiny. But. But it has wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The west wing, the west north wing, wing. North wing, south yeah. wing. Yeah. <laughs> east wing. So I want to have a tiny home because the truth is, really, we won't be in all of them. So. No, you can't. Yeah. Just. Yeah. No. Me. I, the reason as to why I want the wings is so that um, one, especially like our moms, when that time comes, they'll be older. Mm. And I cannot fathom them being on their own. Meanwhile, they are independent. They would be happy to be on their own. Mm. But I can't think about them being on their own and uh, at they are living on their own. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> they'll have a wing. Hey. Each of them with their 
person to take help take care of them but no they will not be at home right no they right. won't and then obviously the kids mm. Mm, they will be getting married soon <laughs> we don't want to be in a place where you call black he has come uh with his wife they want to you know you know and then they're like I tell you, you know, us girls, we like those explanations. No, 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 we can't. Your parents are here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry Yet the man you. wants to, you know, you know, attack all the command centers. <laughs> so I wonder, they have a place but, where they can go and it's, it's there. But the home itself will be small. Yeah. Just that it has wings. Wings. I want to ask you something. Yeah. How was it like for, for you hmm. leaving your mom? Because you literally left your mom on your wedding day yes i did yes. yes so um what was that like and what is it that first, she feels now yeah first of all i think that's one of the most honorable things we can do for our parents that when we leave the house we're leaving to enter into another home i think it's just honorable especially for girls mm -hmm. why because i feel like a man should take her on knowing that she was being taken care of yeah um, secondly, but we want independent women. Yeah, th I you got me from my mom's home, but that doesn't mean I wasn't independent. Mm. Yeah, if you left me there on my, I would be fine. Y you understand? Mm. But don't leave me. Because <laughs> now I've become, I'm not. Now you're now no I'm longer independent. independent. <laughs> now you're independent. Now I'm independent. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, that's what that's what I think. Um, even for boys, I know you don't agree to it, but I'll wait for the Lord to speak to you because the, the Bible says, and it is for this reason that a man shall leave his father's home and be joined to his wife. Father's home that he has been renting somewhere. <laughs> They missed that out. He has been renting somewhere. Please, please, please. 40 year old. 40 get year out, old. Get out of here. You will leave your father's home, which you are renting in Nansa now, in Naria, in Nakulabi. Your father's home, which has been paying rent for you. Whatever the keyword is renting. Your own place. He, but it is who your wrote, father's who wrote that letter? <laughs> it is there for, uh, who wrote it? Mm? Tell me, <laughs> who wrote that book? And you do want to what be book is that? Being right? <laughs> yeah? whoever, whoever that one, whoever wrote that one was not Tewali Rent. <laughs> Excuse me, man of God, <coughs> leave the home <coughs> and take someone's daughter when you have somewhere. For me, Tembos. So. They should leave the house mm. because what was the question how did i feel yeah. first of all i don't know if you remember but on the wedding i cried yeah. why immediately after i finished the wedding dance party everything i packed my bags nearby me and i walked to go and enter the car with mommy mm. and mommy got like mimi ah. you're now married mm. i cried i could not believe because this was the first time we we're going to be at an event me, you, mommy, because every time we ever were, I would end up in mom's car. Mm. I would end up going home with mommy. You understand? Even if you were the one dropping us, you would drop us and we would get out of the house and I'd go back home. Yeah. So it was really strange that she, she refused me to enter the car. Very I good mother cried. in love. Very good. I cried. Fantastic. To, even now the feeling makes me feel sad. Yeah. I was sad i'm like it's done it is what she's it is she's handed me over and it was just between one day because remember i came from home yes yeah i came from home driven to saloon everything then in the evening i was it going was home out. in your car yeah i was like no out. this this is not okay yeah. i was so sad clearly i'm still now sad. now you are sad even. i'm still yeah just the thought of yeah. That that exchange, I don't think I was ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. But I think it was a good exchange. I mean, yeah. I think it was a good exchange. That night when I took you, 
when mommy handed you over and said, when Brian, please, I've, I've given her to you. Very good mother-in-law. You know, babe, what your mom told me? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've told you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're talking about your brother. And, um, and, and I was telling her that I think there's a certain girl that I think would be really nice for oh him. And then, and then she's like, hey, so why doesn't he date her? Then I'm like, ah, the, the girl has a boyfriend. Come, mommy. Ah, I don't want that. Then I asked her, yeah. Go, mother, what Brian is here. Come, Joe. Mother, I was like, oh, my God. 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 Oh, the whole time I have a boyfriend, she was like, Wanji, Brian, you have So, Brian, you didn't tell her you in the saw city. You. In the city, a danger. But you must first do those things before you tell people. So, when I knew the mission was successful, I told her. Yeah. I'm smart. I'm smart. <laughs> I can't with you. Yeah, so guys, tell us, uh, especially 50-year-olds, guys who have had children who have left the nest. Muchikola Mutia, by the way. We want to learn from you. We want to hear how you deal with the heartbreaks of your children going around living. Yeah? Do they ever live anyway? Do they come back? Ah, I do they back. come back? 